What is going on everybody? T-Bone coming back at you again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing. And it might be a little late on this, but we have here our double unboxing of Ancient Guardians, the newest side set to be released. So before we get into this first part of our double box unboxing, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video, hit the notification bell, comment down below, all that good YouTuber stuff. Help build this channel so I can continue buying more things like this and bring you more amazing videos. So like I said, this is part one of part two. So be sure to check out part two once that's uploaded. So today we are going to start with this box. See, so yeah, I mean, I'm not really going to waste too much time here on this. Now, somehow, I have no idea. I went to a local Target. It would be yesterday. And I actually found blister packs of this set. Five left. So I got lucky with that. But as always, we're going to start with the right side of the box, then go on to the left side. And I will say, I still like how Konami is doing this, the different pack arts, with all the three major archetypes. I do like that. Anyway, let's get into it. Hopefully we can pull a collector's rare. Let's see. Oh, we got Mr. Prominence. Venomonaga, uh, Venomonaga, I think that's how you say it. Ah, the controversial archetype. I'm going to call it Abyss. Oh, we got a trade-in. Ayers Rock Sunrise. And already starting off with an ultra rare, we got uh, t Sulfacord Butea. So already starting with an ultra. So we're going to sleeve that up. Now, I haven't looked too, too much into the set being fully honest, or the archetypes, actually, I should say. I know we have the Sulfa Chords, we have the Ursardic, and we have the, um, I, again, I'm calling them Abyss. But what uh, what are they actually called again? The um, Ogdoadic, or Ogdoadic, Daic, or whatever. I'm going to call them uh, Ogdoadic, but it's a lot easier to just call them Abyss. Konami kind of messed up on that one. Got Snake Rain, first one of those. And Earth's Arctic McPolar. And of course, I forgot to bring those other packs down, the blisters that I bought. Um, nothing above a super. So it was unfortunate, but it was nice to actually find blister packs. Just zoom in a little more here. There we go. More Sulfa Cord. Damage equals Reptile. Ursartic. And Urs Ursartic McBillis. Oh, we got our first uh, Abyss. And let's get another one. Pot of Riches. I'm so glad this was not a collector's rare. That would have been such a waste. Pancratops. They did this to me in the blister packs. This comes collectors, and they put it the sixth card. And we have uh, Neyu, the um, Ogdeic, Odea, Ogdoidic Remnants. Again, Konami, you should have just stuck with Abyss. It's like, yeah, it was punny, but again, you're not one to stray away from puns. Ursartic. Another Snake Rain, that's our second one. And Ursartic Departure, this is actually one of the supers I pulled out of the blisters. Magister Paladin. What oh, we're skipping ahead here. And Earth's Arctic McTannis. 
We got a lot of uh, Earth's Arctic foils. Not so many main deck or uh, rare cards, but mostly the foils. Luster Pendulum. Me Sulfacord. And Sulfacord Harmonia. I do think that concept is interesting that they're all that they're the, the music scale. I do like that and how they all equal nine. So if their level is five, their pendulum scale would be four. If they're level three, then their pendulum scale is six. I do like that, how it adds up to nine. I'm going to place it of uh, trade in. Resulfa cord. And uh, Karus, the Abyss Light. So of course we started strong with with an ultra, but again you're only guaranteed three ultras per box, which I still don't like that ratio. I wish it was four. Again, I like even numbers, but and actually speaking of which, we have our next ultra, Earth's Arctic Big Dipper, and I think this is a really good card for them. If I remember correctly. So we now have two of our ultras. We haven't seen a Skullmeister yet, actually. Just realized. More Ursardic. And Ursardic McBillis. I think that's our first Viper's Rebirth, too. There's a first Skullmeister. And Ogdoadic Water Lily. Ogdoadic. Again, it's such a weird one to pronounce. And that pack just disintegrated. That's nice. Snake Rain, I think. Don't remember if that's our second or we got to place it now. And Dole Sulfa Cord Cutia. And now on to the left side of the box. So we're already halfway through. Might be able to start picking up just a little bit here because we're seeing a lot of rares, the same repeat rares. Again, with sets like this, you're going to see a lot when you start buying... Even when you just start buying two boxes, there's only 30 rares, and there's six rares per pack. You're going to start seeing them, you know, start coming up quickly. Uh, Sulfur Court Elegance. It's our first one of those. Me Sulfur Court. First Arctic. And Soul Sulfa Cord Gracia. Okay. Come on, give us a collector's rare. Give us a very good collector's rare. Give us like Skullmeister or Pancratops. Or Trade in. I'll take any of those three. Those are the three collectors I'm thinking I'm most looking forward to. Well, if we didn't have a place at a snake rain, now we do. Ayers Rock Sunrise. And Ursardic Slider. We're starting to see a lot of the same stuff here. They did it again. Skullmeister in the sixth, making you think it. And Ursardic Departure.
resulf accord Th again trade in and there we go our final ultra is dull sulf accord coolia i want to say this this is the cover card i know that but i think this is the most expensive ultra of the set and last i checked it was still only like 16 dollars yeah that's something i actually did not discuss i bought two boxes to open a third to keep sealed um however this is another set where i would say unless you're hunting for collectors because collectors are three to four per case unless you're doing that and you just want sp uh, specific cards go after singles it'd be a lot cheaper got another water lily I mean, time will tell to see if anything, any of these actually shake up the meta at all. Because it has happened. Got another snake rain. It has happened before with uh, like Mystic Fighters and Secret Slayers, but I don't know if this set's going to do that. And Ursardic McTannis. Still have a few packs. We got that ultra a little early. I'm I'm hoping. Megabilis. And a Mickbillis. Me Soul for Cord. I don't remember how many of those we got. And Earth's Arctic McPolar. Only got three packs left. Mega Polar. Re Soul for Cord Dream Dreamia. I don't recall that one, actually. Another trade-in. And Alert. Alert. The Ogdo Ogdoadic Dark. Haven't got many foil uh, Abyss cards. Actually, that's very interesting. Second to last pack. Come on. Let's get a Collector's Rare. Come on. Collector's Rare. And Nunu, the Ogdoadic Remnant. Last pack. Come on. Oh, it's folded over. That's got to be a good sign. Come on. Collector's rare. Let's go. Let's go. Collectors. Let's do it. Snake Rain. And. Note we have. Uh, Curus the Ogdoadic Light. So unfortunately, no collector rare. But we did end up pulling the most expensive uh, Sulfa Court card. But overall, this box was okay. Could have been better, but could have been worse. I'll definitely say that. Anyway, again, make sure you check out part two. That should be uploaded tomorrow as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video on part one. Again, if you did, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Again, help build this channel so I can keep bringing you more videos like this. So again, make sure to check out part two tomorrow. And until next time, I will see you guys later.